Have you heard about a man called David? Beckham, Tennant, Bowie? No, he goes back a lot further than those. Oh, David Attenborough. No, we are looking at King David from the Bible. David, son of a man called Jesse, was from a pretty big family. He was the youngest of seven brothers. <laughs> Can you imagine the state of the hand-me-downs by the time they got to David? <coughs> David was visited by a man called Samuel, who God spoke to about David becoming a king. David grew up working as a shepherd. Aww. Sounds like a pretty chill job, right? Well, not when you're having to fight lions and bears with your bare hands just to protect your sheep. Well, that was just a typical day in the life of David. And that's before we talk about him defeating the Israelites' nemesis, Goliath. What would you take into battle with a giant? Probably not a shiny pebble. He probably used that for some expressive painting. But not David. He put his pebble in a sling, gave it a few swirls and... Hey presto, one fallen giant. Wow, what did they do with the body? Oh, oh. You can ask your parents what David did with Goliath's head. David was a brilliant musician. He was so gifted that he could play the harp with his feet. Actually, I can't substantiate that claim. But he once was asked to play for King Saul when he was feeling distressed and David's music was so beautiful that it calmed Saul down. Zoom forward a few years and David became the King of Israel. Whoa! <laughs> but even though David was a brilliant musician, a hit songwriter, a shepherd, probably not a good dancer, although he was very enthusiastic. A brilliant leader, a successful king. How did God regard him? Not as those things, but as a man after God's own heart. David loved to worship. It was his favorite thing to do. He longed to be in the presence of God. He once wrote in one of his songs, as the deer pants for the water, so my soul longs after you, O God. Wait, didn't David make some mistakes? Like big mistakes. And he still got called a man after God's own heart. Hmm. God is looking for worshippers who worship him in spirit and truth. Worshippers who long to be in his presence. Let's not be defined by our triumphs or our mistakes, but by the one who we give our heart to. Let's pursue the presence of God and allow God to change us to be more and more like Jesus. You can read all about David and his incredible story in 1 Samuel and 2 Samuel, and you can read his poems and songs in the book of Psalms.